Oof. It's been a while since I made a video like this, so I wanted to say a few things first before I get started. First, thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed in the last few weeks. I started making videos to share our family's story and help other pet owners with what we've learned over the last several years from raising our dogs and cats. And our goal has always been to share what we know and just try to make people happy. So we hope you're enjoying all those videos and we're gonna keep making more, but if you do have any ideas or anything that you're interested in, please comment below and let us know because I do want to try to focus on things that all of you are interested in. Again, thank you for all the support, especially all the new shorts subscribers. We really appreciate it and we look forward to making more fun content for everyone. Thank you. And we're going to get started with the actual video that I had planned for this. So bear with me as we smoothly transition into that. These are some cats that we met at Meow Parlor which is a cat cafe in New York City. We are not at all affiliated with Meow Parlor. We just love the work that they do and we want to share a story about some cats that they recently helped. So we hope that you enjoy this story and you kind of understand our perspective. We do come from a rescue background and we are maybe a little bit biased in that direction. So just keep that in mind. This is Gretchen and she is part of a litter of Maine Coon kittens that arrived at Meow Parlor in New York City a few months ago when they were only two days old. When she came into foster care with her siblings, they needed to be bottle fed by their fosters because of how young they still were. It was clear when this litter of kittens arrived that they were not like other kittens for reasons that I will go into momentarily. Now, we saw Gretchen at Meow Parlor when we visited a few weeks ago, and noticed that she had a different gait when she walked. We shared about her on Instagram, started asking around, and discovered that she was part of a litter of kittens that came into the meow parlor with congenital medial patellar luxation, which means that both her and her sister have defects in her hind legs and some trouble walking. You can see that Gretchen needs to hop to get around, and while it is very cute to watch her, and she seems like a relatively normal cat otherwise, this condition can create problems for cats as they age, like arthritis, joint pain, and decreased mobility. For these two cats, the good news is that they are rescued by Meow Parlor who has experience dealing with special cases like theirs. First, I want to talk about what this condition is, how it's caused, and how to fix it. A luxating patella refers to the knee joint found at the end of the femur. In general terms, it means the kneecap pops out or moves from the normal position of the joint. It can be caused if the groove that keeps the ligaments in place is not shaped correctly due to a birth defect or an injury. This creates a different movement you see with Gretchen that causes her to hop when she walks. There are different degrees to which the joint will pop out. This can range from applying pressure to push the joint back in place all the way to the joint being permanently out of the socket all the time. While cats and dogs with this defect can live healthy lives, there is very often joint pain and arthritis associated with this disorder, so it's important to have the joint surgically repaired as soon as possible. Once arthritis develops in their joints, it can't be reversed, so surgery is the best way to ensure that the cat or dog does not have arthritis issues as they get older. Ultimately, the surgery will prevent any future issues and allow affected cats to live normal, happy lives with no movement issues. This was filmed during our second visit after we initially noticed Gretchen and her sister, who was adopted by the time we filmed this. So I tried to carefully watch Gretchen and notice all of the little differences with how she moves. If you look closely, you can see that she favors her back legs and often flops onto her belly during play, possibly because running normally is more taxing on her body due to her condition. All of these little intricacies are things you only start to notice when you spend a lot of time with different cats, like we do with all of our fosters at home. Once you see it, it is easy to realize how much better her life could be if she's able to get treatment. In the case of Gretchen and her sister, they were born with this issue, possibly due to a genetic defect. This is where we'll give some opinion and speculation on the topic. Certain breeds of cats might be genetically predisposed to this issue. So, like with dogs, anyone that is breeding cats should be mindful of this issue. Gretchen's litter were full Maine Coon cats. That means they were specifically bred by someone that wants to breed Maine Coons. What is sad, in our opinion, is that many breeders don't seem to care about genetic issues like this and don't do anything to avoid breeding cats just like Gretchen. Instead, when they have a litter with issues like this, some breeders just abandon their animals to a rescue in the best case scenario. Gretchen's litter was abandoned at just two days old, as we mentioned, and if they had not been taken care of by volunteers at Mail Parlor and their fosters, they may not have had any chance at all to have a happy life. 
However, this genetic issue is avoidable with careful breeding, and if you do have kittens with this issue, it can be surgically repaired. I don't think it's too much to ask that breeders that bring these animals into the world should be responsible for making sure they get the care they need. Fortunately for Gretchen and her sister, Jenny, they will both be getting the surgery they need thanks to the support from the rescue that took her in. If you want to help cats like Gretchen and Jenny, consider donating to Meow Parlor. They're friends of ours that save lots of cats and kittens in need, just like Gretchen every year. There's a link in the description below if you want to help. I've also listed some other sources so you can read further if you want to. Currently, Jenny and Gretchen have both been adopted. Adopted. Jenny was adopted with her other sister, Dalgi, and Gretchen was adopted with her best friend, Chestnut. These cats have a wonderful life ahead of them, especially after they get the surgeries they need. Their veterinarian is still waiting for them to be a little bit bigger before they proceed with their corrective surgeries. Per the making of this video, their specific fundraiser had reached about half of its goal to pay for their $12,000 surgeries. We wish these two sweet cats the best going forward. Now, if you like what we do here, consider pawing at that subscribe button so you never miss one of our videos. We really appreciate all the new subscribers and we try to respond to every comment that we get. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Remember to spay new to your pets and please be kind to animals.